hi everyone welcome to my channel i hope you are enjoying videos on our channel please subscribe to our channel and share the videos with your friends also guys today we are starting a spark tutorial series in which i'll be covering spark concepts different spark concepts in depth so i hope you will like this series let us start with it so today's session is more of a basic spark introduction session so we are going to cover what is spark and uh, what is the architecture of spark let us start with what is spark spark is a distributed processing framework so you can also call it a execution framework uh, so in 2003 uh, you know when hadoop came into picture uh, in 2005 2007 different companies started to adopt it yahoo adopted it facebook adopted it and then a lot of other companies also started to adopt uh, uh, Hadoop for their uh, big data processing. But over a period of time, companies realize that there are a lot of stuff they are not able to do with Hadoop. Uh, they wanted a framework which can help them do streaming kind of work. They wanted a framework, they wanted a big data processing engine which can help them do machine learning very easily. In Hadoop, it was not that straightforward. Uh, they wanted a, a platform where, uh, you know, if the jobs are iterative, they can run very fast. So those needs, uh, you know, triggered thoughts in open source community that there should be some other framework which should replace Hadoop, which should, which should uh, actually work on the deficiencies of Hadoop. So uh, at that time, AMP Lab ha uh, was uh, working on Spark. They donated this project to Apache Spark, Apache community in 2010. So that's how open source community got Apache Spark. So Apache Spark is a framework which can be used for big data processing. Uh, you can do batch processing on it. You can do stream processing. You can do uh, use it for data analysis. You can do machine learning work. There are a lot of machine learning algorithms which are implemented on it. You can also do graph processing. So there are a lot of advantages that it gives us over Hadoop framework or any other big data processing framework. Because in a single package, it provides a lot of functionality. Okay, so Spark is faster than Hadoop in many ways. Uh, in Hadoop, you know, if you want to write a complex algorithm, you have to write a chain of MapReduce jobs. So disadvantage of MapReduce jobs is that uh, uh, containers are not re uh, reused. So for every map task, a new container will be started, and uh, if the uh, and every MapReduce job will write the data in hard disk, and next MapReduce job will read the data uh, from hard disk. You can uh, avoid all these kind of uh, uh, boilerplate stuff, or you can say overhead in spark in spark executors keep on running and uh, uh, you know there is a lot of less overhead of uh, starting the containers and all and spark can run in memory all the processing that you do it can keep the data in ram and it can all the iterative tasks if you're going to uh, reuse the same data uh, the processing will be very fast so Spark is very good for those kind of scenarios. So I hope you are now clear that what is Spark? Spark is a data processing engine which uses cluster of machines to process your data. So in simple words, that how that's how you should understand it. Okay, so this is the architecture of uh, Spark. So in, in simple terms, I have tried to keep it simple. In Spark, we have a driver program. It is running on one of the nodes on your cluster. Uh, you can think of driver program as a main program. In our Java applications, we have a main program. So you can think of driver program as a main program. Uh, all the handling of logic and everything happens from here. So in driver program, the first thing that we do is we create a Spark context. Spark context, is a internal spark class which knows that how to talk to a 
cluster of machines how to talk to a cluster manager so that's what spark context knows spark context makes a connection with the cluster manager and negotiate the resources that i have this much of work th which i want to do uh, please assign me different workers on which i can schedule my task so cluster manager will help spark context spawn uh, task on the workers so workers are our machines on which the actual execution happen so on every worker machine there will be a process named executor which will be running so executor is a process which does the data processing for us suppose i have written some logic to process some data so executors are the one who are going to process the data so driver is the main program which gives high level instructions that this has to be done that has to be done and uh, you know negotiate resources it starts spark context it, it shut down the spark application all the stuff is done by driver pro driver program i hope this is clear uh, let us move on to next one okay this one we are going to cover in our next video thank you guys thank you for watching this video uh, i hope this video is useful and this series is going to be useful please subscribe to our channel and share the videos